In tutorial 12, we learned different ways of creating directories and subdirectories in PowerShell. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to delete directories and subdirectories. And for now, we are going to use empty directories, meaning no files. We are going to use three examples. In our first example, we have a folder, or as PowerShell calls it, directory called USA, right here and it's uh, placed right under our C drive. We are going to delete it using the remove item commandlet. Let's uh, first just check that it's here. DIR did. And as you can see, it says USA. Now let's use the commandlet. Remove item and the path C colon backslash USA and then click enter and now it's not there anymore so remove item that's the command that we want to use one thing I want to mention here is that uh, we are using C colon backslash USA as the path and that's the full path as long as we're standing in C colon backslash we don't necessarily need to use that when removing the folder USA let's uh, just create it again new item USA item type directory and you can see here USA is here only not in capital letters we could just as well write remove item USA since we are standing in C and you can see it's not here anymore in our next example here we have a folder called USA and underneath it we have um, a subfolder called Florida or you could say directory and subdirectory here let's uh, check them out in uh, PowerShell we have the USA and we have the Florida and let's move into Florida now changing directory and clear we're only using the clear here so that we can put everything on the screen so you can all watch it there are no files in uh, Florida as you can see nothing and we want to delete the folder or subdirectory Florida now now here is an uh, elementary mistake that a lot of people do we are standing in Florida in the directory Florida and we want to delete it so remove item Florida is not going to work you you are going to get an error so what you want to do here is you want to move up to the sub to the directory USA and then delete the subdirectory Florida remove item Florida and the same thing goes for USA you want to move up to the C drive and then remove item USA and uh, both the directory and the subdirectory is uh, gone sometimes it's uh, easier to remove the directory and the subdirectory at the same time right now we have uh, no USA as a directory if we wanted to create USA and Florida at the same time new item USA Florida item type directory and as you can see here we have both CD USA 
and here we have Florida. Deleting is not going to work the same way. Remove item USA Florida. Now if we take a DIR we are still going to have the USA there. If we go into USA, Florida is not there anymore. Let me try to explain this. C column backslash USA backslash Florida. PowerShell is looking at the path if the directory USA exists, it's going to add the subdirectory Florida. If USA doesn't exist, it's going to add the directory USA and Florida. When deleting directories and subdirectories, PowerShell needs to know what to delete. It doesn't know that you want to delete both directories. It's going to assume that you just want to delete Florida and that USA is part of the path. So if we wanted to delete Florida, this is one way of doing it. But if we want to delete USA and its subdirectory Florida, we do that another way. Right now we have uh, the directory USA back again. And we also have uh, our Florida directory here. What we can do is remove item and just say USA and not mention the subdirectories. Then we get a question here to confirm. If you continue, all children will be removed with the item. Children in this case is the subdirectories. Yes. And right now, we can do a DIR, and USA is not here anymore, and neither is its uh, subdirectory Florida. There is one more way I want to show you. Let's bring up our sheet again. Now we just did the USA with the, the subdirectory Florida. This time we are going to do the USA with two subdirectories, Florida and Nebraska. You could do it the same way by just typing in USA and you will get the question and it will remove Florida and Nebraska for you. Same thing. But uh, this time we don't want the question. First let's uh, DIR here and you see USA and you can see that we have Florida and Nebraska here. What we can do is remove item USA and we can use something called recurse and that will definitely take care of any issues but if you don't know what you're doing be very careful when you use it and uh, what I do recommend is Google it or use PowerShell help to find out much more about recurse before you use it. I'm just showing you here. DIR and the USA and its subdirectories are gone. But right now we have not gone through deleting files yet. We will get back to that later on. That's it for now.